Hello preparedness people and welcome or welcome back to The Bigs Prep. My name is Cynthia and today we're doing $5 Friday inspired by Sassy Gal Prepping. So if you're ready, press the like button to support the channel and let's do this. A little different haul from me. I'm gonna tell you what happened. We got some stuff at Dollar Tree. Check these out. I got a 4% lidocaine patch, some pain relief patches. I love these things. These are amazing. I got some of this menthol muscle rub and some icy cold. Okay, here's what happened. My friend put her back out and her shoulder. It was desperately painful. So I was like, let me just run into the prepper pantry and get my topical pain box and see what all is in there. And I was dismayed to find that there was a bunch of random stuff in here and not the stuff that I needed. I got this ice pack in here one patch left out of like I used to have a hundred of these oh looks expired in 2016 come on now come on now I got some burn relief got some of this lidocaine gel this stuff works really good I got some stuff for sunburns aloe vera gel and I have these salon paws these work really well and I have these pain relief patches both are open this muscle rub and this is a big ice pack thing that you can crack and also make it cold. So all the pain patches were gone. Most of like the muscle rubs were gone. Um, we've been using them. Mr. B likes those if he's been doing yard work all day or if he happens to, you know, tweak his back at work. And we've been picking out of the box and not putting anything back in. It's prepping 101. You have to replace what you take out. And I didn't realize that we had been filching out of it for a while and not putting anything so back. So I went straight, oh gosh, look at this. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? So I went straight to Dollar Tree that very morning and picked up number one, all the things that she needed for her back and number two, the stuff that we needed to put back into our box. I also picked up these. I picked up some more patches because we really love these patches. They are fantastic. Then I got some of this pain relief balm. We've gotten this before. This is a capsaicin like balm thing. And this is a capsaicin patch. I am allergic to bell peppers, hot peppers, all the peppers. So be very careful with capsaicin if you have allergies to peppers because it could make you like go anaphylactic. It could make me do that. So be very careful and watch my ingredients. Next time I'm there, I'm definitely going to pick up some more patches because obviously we really, really love these. And I got this heat wrap too. I thought that would be nice when Mr. B has, you know, achy shoulders. We actually prefer a topical method of pain relief rather than a systemic, rec you know, method because um, being in the recovery community, it's not always great to just go ahead and take pills. So we like the patches. These are my absolute favorite, the salon paws. I wonder if these patches are any good. I'm gonna have to test these out and see. 2016, what could go wrong, right? There we go, all nice and full again, and that didn't fit. That's okay, I'll just have to find another spot for it. In pairing with my video from Wednesday, my son's girlfriend is sick, like super sick, not sick enough to go to the hospital, but she is definitely very uncomfortable. So into the proper pantry, we went to get some cold and flu stuff, and here's what I got for her. Main symptoms were really bad headache, cold sweats, body aches, sniffly. We went from there. In my little care package, I'm doing some lysine, vitamin C, and Advil for in the morning. And then she's got Advil, vitamin C, lysine, and 10,000 milligrams of vitamin D. That's for four days only. And then she's got some Advil for noontime. So she's got morning, noon, and evening. And that'll be about 1800 milligrams of ibuprofen, which is a lot, but she is in a lot of pain. I'm also sending over these Paul's breezers. She has a super dry, scratchy throat. See if she can tolerate these. Ah. She's got some Dayquil, some NyQuil. That's two days worth. We'll see how she does. And then she's got these effervescent cold tablets. These are the Walmart brand. So they should work fairly well. These are the daytime ones. And then she's got two days worth of nighttime. We'll see how she feels. Can't forget about raw honey. Have to send her some of that. And I just have some black and orange Peacoat cut tea for her. Um, she doesn't have to be caffeine free. So I think this will be great. There we have it. Round number one for my son's girlfriend. 
we're gonna see how she feels in the morning after taking some meds. And I'm not gonna go visit her because I don't know how serious it is and I don't wanna get sick. I'm just doing a quick inventory of the cough and cold, allergy, cough drop type things. I think I'm gonna need to stop at Dollar Tree tomorrow because now my DayQuil, NyQuil, this is all the NyQuil that we have. Got a little cough syrup here. Mr. B just got that at Walmart like this past weekend. We've got some Airborne. We love these tablets. These are great for folks in the recovery community because they are guaranteed no alcohol in them. And you know, you do the two and that's it. And they're pretty nasty as well. So it's not really like you want to drink it. It's always a concern with special needs folks when you are trying to prepare for cold and flu season. And we do have a brand new digital thermometer. Next up is the cough and cold, this Delsum. You know what, I love this stuff. It's expired, but it's past the best buy. But this was recommended to me by two separate pharmacists with like over 90 years of pharmacy and they swore by it. So this is the stuff that I use and it is alcohol free, which I like. I've got some just random cough drops. These Deuterra drops are fantastic. I I, I absolutely love these things. They are just the best. And then that's pretty much it. Oh, whoops, down here, some um, Mucus Relief DM. But you gotta have a serious need for this stuff. It levitates the mucus out of my lungs if I'm sick, which uh, it's, it's horrifying and it makes me super dizzy. Do not like this. This is the last resort for me personally. And then just some regular guamfacine here. And I got that at Dollar Tree. And then for just allergy relief, Benadryl, we've got Sudafedrin, we've got some allergy relief, Flonase. I am a huge fan of Flonase. And that's it. That's the inventory of cough and cold. I definitely want to get some more NyQuil and DayQuil capsules. These are very handy. Probably stop maybe tomorrow and get those on the way to work just to be safe. Maybe a couple more bags of cough drops, maybe. And of course, then we've got all that was Tuesday. Here is Friday at noontime and she is feeling much better. And don't forget about herbal supplements and herbal teas and all the other things that I mentioned in my video on Wednesday. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description box down below. Thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out with me and just, you know, say a prayer for this cough and cold season because it is insane. People are dropping like flies. They've all been together at Christmas time and now, you know, it's germ city. Thank you, Lee. Thank you again. And remember everybody, I'd rather be a year early than a day late.